they've tested. They they had a program that they tested here in Los Angeles. Oh wow! Apparently that went well because now they're testing in Chicago. Oh wow! And if that goes well, then that's when they're going to officially roll it out, which they haven't decided yet. I guess they're waiting for the results, you know, of for all the, the Chicago test right and whatever else, and right. then they're going to sign. But that's what they're that's what they're up to. What so? What do you guys think? Are you guys okay with that? Or do you guys think they're doing too damn much? Because some people were like, oh, they're too, doing too damn much, and I ain't for this, and I ain't for that. And blah, blah, blah. I don't, To me, I think it's, it, I don't really see a problem with it. I mean, it, I think it's innovative. It's not. It is. And it's a, another way to give people jobs. And they were saying also, um, another benefit of it is some of their, because not everybody who does Uber is just like their side hustle. Some mm-hmm. people, it's their full time job. Right, right, exactly. And they, they get a little burnt out just driving around all the time. Exactly. So now they can do some other but things. But they can do some other things and they still be with Uber. They mm-hmm. can do Uber, you know, uh, works. I feel like driving the day, I'll, I'll wait some tables or I'd be exactly. right. Or mix it up a little bit, yeah. you know? So, Work in the office. Exactly. So anyway, so what do you guys think about it? I think it's pretty cool. It's not very different from a lot of the other apps that I've heard about mm-hmm. that's out there already. It's an app called Handy that I work for that I get a lot of clients off of, a lot of my cleaning clients off of. And oh, I thought it was some other kind of app. No, but they also... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's called Handy. It's just, I mean... You know, it's true. What, but what they <laughs> they also have a handy man handy side. Man. <laughs> you know what, you guys? Get your minds out of the gutter. I can't help it. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. No, but they have a handyman side, and you they and you can like get a handyman to come like help you hang pictures or put up your bookshelf or help you type some shit or organize some other stuff. And then they have other apps that do exactly just like Uber works, where you can be called in to do wait staffing and catering and I don't know right. security. But that's that's different. I think that they include all that stuff in one. That's a be that'll be like something cool. I think again, it's, it's just really innovative. Like, yeah, definitely. Like they're sort of like realizing, like, okay, our thing is service. Right. We do we do right. service better than anybody else, uh, any other app, mm-hmm. and we can bring service to in, to everybody and everywhere. And I was like, yeah, go for it. But My you thing can, you can get. I, well, I think I think as a business person, or it would appeal to a business person that you can get labor for a short time, mm-hmm. fairly simply, and easy. I mean, you can just go on an app instead of going through a temp agency and have however many people sent over to, you know, cater your event or whatever at the last minute. And then that'd be done with, I mean, that's just, or how about instead of standing, hanging outside of the home Depot, Right. You could just be on an app, <laughs> right? And somebody That's could just true. call you from home. That's true. I tried to get my dad to sign up for the handyman side of handy, and he just did not want to do it. But I think that is that's a definitely a great idea. It's better than standing out in front of Home Depot. My interest, the interesting thing to me is freight hauling. So you know how they have like ride sharing where you can just mm-hmm. get an Uber to take you down the street. You can get like an Uber freight truck to haul your shit somewhere, or. I guess so. I don't know anything about it except in this article they were listing all the different services right. that Uber, you know, is Wow. But again, into. that think, is but interesting. But think about it again. Like there's also lay people, regular people that every now and then reg, not regularly but mm-hmm. but enough numbers that that occasionally you need something that unique. Right. Yes. My friend needed her car to go from Chicago to LA. Right. Mm-hmm. Like the logistics of doing she's like how the hell do I, I don't know nothing about that you know i don't know how to ship a car right, right. so like the logistics that if i had an app that i could just like boop boop boop, boop right like oh we'll pick it up at your house on friday exactly and i know people who are truck drivers and i think that that would be a good platform for them to be able to simultaneously you know maybe start a business or do something that they want to do and still be able to work and make money when they want to and in their time with the uber freight hall and i think that's really cool yeah yeah i think i think you're right pip that's very innovative they get they going somewhere with this i just hope that the people actually make money yeah people who work for them yeah yeah, Uber. Yeah, Uber, because Uber, Uber's not the only one. Like, like we we're talking about the freight hauling, whatever. Um, well, I needed like I don't have a truck. Nobody I know has. Nobody I know has a truck. Mm-hmm. I needed some lumber and some other materials delivered from Home Depot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's probably an app for that. And I looked on my phone and I found an app for that. Right. And I signed up in a couple of minutes, and I had a guy who he went there, picked it up, you know, brought it to my house, picked it up for you. Us. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's... Like, you didn't even borrow the truck. They, you borrow the truck no, they, and the no, person. No, they... Yeah, the, yeah, the person had exactly. the truck. Yeah. The person has the truck. Uh-huh. They go, and they go and they pick up the stuff, 
and then they bring it to you, and then they deliver it, whatever. And it, it works, you know, it yeah. works great. Yeah, right. Everybody oh wins. Oh, my. That's a game changer. Yeah. I wish I had known that because I had some stuff. <laughs> it was a storage <laughs> at my friend's house mm-hmm. who's moving RC again. Oh, wow. And he's and he, I had to pick it up from his house, and I was on sort of relying on my other friend mm-hmm. who did it, Raul, who I love Raul because he took time out. He's making a movie, and he's in post-production, and him and the director and uh, the other producer, they are like 24-7, seems like, on this movie, and they stopped to go get my shit from RC's oh. house. So, and I felt terrible. I know. But not. Because I needed it. my shit. <laughs> right, because you needed it. So. <laughs> but if I knew about that app, I could have done it myself. Well, now you know. And there's a, um, and th- this is not an app, but there's a, um, a service similar to what you were talking about, mm-hmm. John, the, um, the handyman thing. There's one called Task Rabbit that I use. Oh, yeah, I heard Task Rabbit. I by Task Rabbit. I heard Task Rabbit. Rabbit saved me hundreds mm. of dollars right and it's, it's very very convenient yeah i think you talked about the plumbing the plumbing yes, story the plumbing, yeah you know, uh-huh. so i did tell about on the show uh-huh, about yeah. okay yeah so. yep i think that's how i found out about task rabbit okay yeah, yeah. uh-huh yep task, task rabbit great yeah i think uh, yeah so i think that if uh uber is gonna they're gonna suck up all those little little ones like it's another one called Tidy. I'm, and I'm sure there well, are like probably dozens of other ones. Buy up those and probably just probably. tie them all together. Oh, yeah. Probably. Oh, they'll just absorb them. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. The one thing that concerns me is that there's not a lot of protection for the employees because everybody's right. deemed an independent contractor. Mm-hmm. So you're not making like really, unless you're. But that's a new, la- that's a new workforce. Yeah, and that's, that's true. Been, that's been common since the, the 90s. Well, I mean, I'm Generation X. And they, they, that's where they coined the word McJob mm-hmm. because we saw it coming because nobody that's my age or younger had, no, had it like the generation before. Like my friend's pa- when parents, my, my, my best friend's father worked for Sears in the corporate office and then he retired and they gave him a watch and a pension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody has jobs like that no more. Right? Mm-hmm. You don't go out of college and just start at a place and just stay there until they give you like a party at the end. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. goes from job to job to job. Yeah. You don't have a protection anymore. Mm-hmm. You don't. You can't get vested anywhere anymore. Most, right. people, most people do their own 401ks. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, so we are already there where people don't have That's that true. protection. That's news to me. What, what my guy, my plumber guy, um, I think his name was Alan. What I asked him about you know, how did he like Task Rabbit? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he's on some other apps too. I was like, what, what, how did you like them? How does it work for you? He said, well, like anything, there's upside and downside. He says, the downside is, um, I don't remember the exact percentage, be told, but he told me what it was, mm-hmm. of what they take. He said, that's mm-hmm. a pretty, pretty large percentage. It is a pretty large. I think it was like 15% or something. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what he told me. Anyway, he said, but the thing is, even though they take a pretty good chunk, is business that I would never have gotten right. Mm-hmm. anyway right. without them. Right. So you can look at it as, oh, okay, well, they take 15% of, you know, this this amount, or I wouldn't have had any of this right. to begin mm-hmm. with without them. Mm-hmm. I understand know? that. Yeah. You know, I give the tours, and one of the things that comes, our tours, a lot of our tours come through this this multi-tourist app, uh, not app, but a card called the Go Card. They do have an app, too. Mm-hmm. But you buy... Say in buying in, instead of buying four individual tours or attractions like you know Madame Tussauds and and, and like celebrity home tours, the mm-hmm. Hollywood Museum, you get this card and, and where, everything. Yeah, it, it's everything. And but instead of paying one hundred eight dollars for these four tours, you're gonna pay seventy five dollars, mm-hmm. something like that, right? So we're one of the attractions that's on there. So again, we don't get the full price of what we would do if we got we sold the ticket individually. Right. But we're always sold out from that those things. Ah, so I see. yeah, even though an individual ticket might cost twenty seven dollars, and we'd love to get that, we 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 would wouldn't we wouldn't have anybody on right. some tours. But our tours are all filled up with people that maybe only paid seventeen dollars. Oh it yeah, work sometimes the mm-hmm. volume. You know, it makes up for the the discounted price. Right. You end up making right. more. Right. Yeah, I think it's just like. Um, you know, having your own insurance, having to have your own products, all the outside expenses that you have to pay for on your own as an independent contractor, that's like just like another downside to it, too. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely a lot of ups and downs. Even well, shit, doing That's how, like what being an actor is. I know, I definitely. I, but even like, I'm sorry, but even like, um, even like me doing housekeeping, I'm always afraid. Like, if something ever happens to me while I'm at somebody's house or anything, that's on me. That's not on the company that I work for, it's nothing that they're going to do for me. They're not, that's, I'm an, I'm an independent contractor. So it, it's definitely upsides and downsides. Whereas I work, I can work six days a week 
and that's work I wouldn't have gotten otherwise, but it's definitely ups and downs. Yeah, and I think most people who do this type of work are already doing this type of work. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And exactly. Then this is just another avenue. Exactly. So for them, that risk, they already have it anyway. Exactly. So it's not anything new for mm-hmm. them. Now, if you have a, a traditional nine to five and you have insurance and all that kind of stuff and you were to quit that mm-hmm. and to do this, whatever, then yeah. that's something that you'd have to consider, mm-hmm. you know, and look into or whatever because this is different. Definitely. But if you're already, you know, that's already your your, your lifestyle, your hustle, right. your grind or whatever, then that's just one new avenue right which to explore i definitely which agree with you i see a lot of people that this is not their primary goal or and you know their end goal right. you know this is just something that they're doing while they're trying to pop something else off right exactly yeah, side hustle right exactly mm-hmm. so in other uh and other ride sharing news <laughs> uh, the lift lift uh a lift driver has a mental breakdown Woo. This I'm happened, not surprised. This happened, <laughs> this happened here in, in uh, Southern California somewhere. A woman says that she's... While he was driving. Yeah. She, That's a woman, not surprised. A woman is driving. A woman is riding. In, in, you know, she gets a lift, orders it. She's riding. And she said right away she knew something was off. That's... A, um, okay. Uh-huh. And then she gets on the freeway, or the driver gets on the freeway. She says he starts crying and covering his face, oh. laughing, <laughs> driving erratically, just acting crazy and... She, um, I give her her prop. She, she was qu- thinking quick level headed. Right? Yeah. She was thinking quick on her face. She's like, Oh, you know what? I really need to go to the restroom. Can you please stop over at the nearest, you know, Starbucks or anything so I can use the restroom. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, he did it. He, and then she got the hell out of there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she went to Starbucks and stayed. <laughs> right. I would have never came out. And I would have behind smart. the counter and hid. That was very smart. Cause yeah. I was just started smart. yelling. You was- need to pull over right now. <laughs> right now. Pull over. <laughs> <laughs> Cause more trauma to the man. Right? <laughs> driving to the wall. Yeah, we're already having a mental breakdown. Right. Start screaming, screaming at, at him. <laughs> that ain't good for nobody. Let <laughs> me out this motherfucking car. <laughs> you better Google me, bitch. Do you know who you got back here? Oh, fuck <laughs> right. Do you know the fuck I am? <laughs> I'm on a podcast, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got things to do. <laughs> Shit. Oh, hell no. This nigga driving right off the cliff. Oh, no. <laughs> he driving right off the cliff so after the that. police ended up, you know, pulling the guy over and arresting him. Did, oh, that's so, good. And, of course, um, Uber's say, saying, I'm sorry, Lyft. Lyft. Lyft is saying that his account has been suspended and the woman's been refunded. I think she got much more than a refund. I, I hope saying, so. All they're saying in the media is that she got a refund. But if she didn't get more than a refund... She should be she, looking she into getting more, be, right? I'm sure she's looking into it. Yeah, that's right. her. That's her. Her safety and her life. So I would definitely be looking into something more than that, especially if somebody starts to cry and then laugh. <laughs> it's never a good sign. Covering their face. <laughs> face. Why they're on the freeway? <laughs> 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 Man, oh, man, I don't know what the fuck I would have done. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude was not having a good day. I wonder what was his problem. Sometimes what you happened? Snap. You think he just lost it? I wonder what was the final straw. And Lyft is supposed to be like safer than Uber. Somebody mispronounced his name. Oh Lord. <laughs> I, I do prefer Lyft. I, I, use, I do. I Lyft. have to use both. There, but I I use Lyft. I use Lyft. I did a promotion with Lyft one time, and we had to do this whole thing. Lyft is supposed to be so much safer. It was supposed to have been created because um, a guy wanted like a safer transportation for his daughters. So the rider, so the drivers are, are supposed to be vetted. The, the background checks are supposed to be more extensive. Et cetera, et cetera. But apparently, apparently false. <laughs> I mean, no, well, I wouldn't say that. Well, right. Because everybody gets vetted. That's vetted true. doesn't mean that you can predict the, the future or that this or will guarantee well, that suppo- something won't happen. To, right. You know what I mean? Like in the future, like you just, you know, people in my job are vetted. I mean, people are vetted everywhere. Yeah. They're not, they're but nowadays. it's supposed to be more thorough but it, than the other ride share. You guarantee that a human yeah. being no, is not going to no. break and down. Somebody, yeah, yeah. Like, has a mental break. Right. Like that's the brain is... Like, you can't control that. No, you can't control that. You can't control people's free will. You know, True even that. If, even, if they didn't True have that. A, even if they didn't have a breakdown, you can't True that. control the fact that somebody might just decide, so, yeah, decide that they that. want to drive off, yeah. oh, no. off the bridge with you know, yeah. passengers. Oh, no. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you can't control that. There's no amount of, Ooh. you know, anything that will No matter that. back background check will ever nah. be like, you know what, this guy's a cliff driver offer he can't work here (laughs) he can't work here that's true that's very true you just can't 
can't know that. Unfortunately, yeah. that's how. Unless you got that, like those, that chick from an minority, minority Report. Yeah. <laughs>